guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, it's so nice to meet you. And if you are coming back, hey guys, it's so good to see you. And of course, like I always say, I'm so glad that you're back to watch another one of my videos. For today's video, we're gonna be doing my updated skincare routine. I have gotten so many requests to do this video because my skin has changed so much and literally in such a short amount of time. So I'm about to give you guys all the tea, starting from face washes to toners, like serums, everything. So if you guys are ready, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, grab your blunt if you're ready, and let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you about like what I use in the shower. So I use, I'm not even going to exaggerate. I use about four different face washes in the shower just cause I feel like that is the best way for me to feel like I'm getting all the dirt makeup off of my face. So I usually start with something that's gonna get all the makeup off. Kiehl's cleanser. I don't know if you're supposed to use it for that, but that's what I use it for. And then after that, I go in with my Neutrogena Pore Refining Wash. I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I'm not 100% sure, but then I go ahead and go with that. That one exfoliates my face and the little beads feels so good, y'all. It feels amazing. It feels such a difference in my face. So then after I go in with that one, last wash will be the Bior. This one I got, I just recently started using it and that one literally made such a difference. So this one, as soon as you put it onto your hand and then you put it to your face and you start going like this, it starts getting hot and it helps prevent like future breakouts and it helps clear out your face now you know what i mean so it's awesome it, it literally heats up and that heating up is going to help prevent like any new pimples it's going to clean out all your pores it is such an amazing face wash guys i'm already on my second one and i've just been using it probably for like a month now it's so good i got it at walmart i think it's like ten dollars don't quote me on that so we start with the keels go in with the neutrogena and then the last wash will be Bior. Sometimes I'll go in with a little extra step like with like a sponge just to make sure I get like all that shit off of my face and I don't necessarily put anything on the sponge. This is my face sponge is also from Origins. Literally just a white sponge. There, I don't have to put soap on it or nothing. It's just gonna help clean my face and get all that extra stuff off of there. Once I get out of the shower, I'll either do a toner or I'll do a Lemus facial pads. So that's what we're gonna be using in today's video. I've already washed my face, but I'm gonna start with one of these pads. I guarantee you, even though I use all those face washes in the shower, and then I still use that sponge, even when I use these pads or I use my toner, and I look at this, like the cotton around that shit is dirty. And it's crazy, because you would think all the face washes I use in the shower, like it's gonna clean my face. No, it's crazy. So I'll just slowly, just circular motions all over my face. And I don't do it a certain way. I just try and focus on cleaning my face. And really, you don't want to do it under your eyes. You don't need it. But you just want to make sure you get it everywhere. And watch. I'm about to show you all this little cotton round. You're going to be like, what? You can see, it's not like super dirty, but you can still see it. I'm gonna go in with my Kiehl's Serum Infused Water Cream. I cannot say the first word to this dang serum, so <laughs> we're just gonna go with it, okay? And I use literally the smallest amount. And one thing that I've noticed about my skin, and y'all, I'm just gonna be dead ass honest right now. If you guys go back to my channel, let's say my California video. So if you guys go from that video and then on forward, you guys will literally see how bad my face was breaking out. And this has nothing to do against Lancome or anything, but Lancome has entirely way too much fragrance for my face. I have very acne prone skin, so any fragrance will literally break my skin out. And I didn't know that, you know what I mean? I was just taking the skincare because I was getting it for free. I work for Lancome. Who is not gonna accept luxury skincare for free? You know what I mean? Giving me face washes and creams and serums and moisturizers and all kinds of stuff. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting hooked up. So then I started washing my face, trying to take care of my skin. And then I started breaking out. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just like cleaning up my face. Maybe, you know, it'll clear up. Y'all, months go by, I already started getting scars from this Lancome shit. I was like crying. I was like, what the hell? My skin has never looked like this. Not even when I was 15 and breaking out. Horrible did my skin look like this. Like, 
I could not. So I completely stopped using all of my Lancome products and went back to just using Neutrogena and my face literally from one day to the next, my face cleared up just from not using the freaking Lancome products. So I personally cannot use anything that has fragrance. The face washes, moisturizers, creams, SPF, nothing. I cannot have fragrance because that literally breaks me out so bad. You guys have that problem if you break out and you use fragrance stuff. So that's probably another reason why you break out. I don't know, but me personally, that's why I used to break out all the time. And thank the Lord that I found Kiehl's because ever since I started using Kiehl's, my skin has turned into this beautifulness. And I don't need all that makeup. I don't need to cake my face. You know what I mean? Even though I love to, I don't need it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into this serum. And I usually just do the back of my nail. And this is all I'm gonna use. So we're just gonna, uh, 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 uh. boom. And then we'll just blend it in. And I love, 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 love that there's no fragrance, y'all. I'm not even kidding. God, it's so comforting to know that my face is not gonna get irritated, that it's not gonna break out. I don't know, I guess I just have really sensitive skin. Who knows? Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and go into my dark spot corrector. This shit, y'all, what I'm telling you right now in this video, I am not being dramatic, I am not exaggerating, I'm not trying to sell you shit, nothing. I am being dead honest with you, and my skin can literally tell you itself, because you can see it. This freaking thing from Kiehl's has changed my entire skin. I used to have these horrible dark spots here, 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 and down here so bad. Y'all, we're up close and personal. Do y'all see my skin? Like, the dark spots have gone away so much. And I probably have been using this product for maybe two weeks, three weeks, and it's already changed my skin so freaking much. And a little bit goes such a long way. This little thing is like $60, so I'm not trying to buy this shit every like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And I just squeeze it. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze it, and then it'll fill it up. And then I won't use it all, but I'm just gonna put a little bit here, here, and here. And then I won't do my chin because I'll just mix whatever else on there, so. And this one has a little bit of fragrance, but it's not like uncomfortable and overwhelming. It's like that natural smell, you know what I mean? Like, um, what are those things called? That go in the diffusers? It's like, a, it smells like an essential oil type thing, but it doesn't stink horrible. I don't know, this shit is just amusing, period. One thing about this one, it's a little bit thicker than all the other products that I use. So I usually wait about five minutes before I move on to the next thing. Usually if it was daytime, I would not go in with my SPF. This is Kiehl's Super Fluid UV Mineral Defense. Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is for acne prone skin. This is so good. If you don't have SPF, you need to get some, baby. We gotta protect our skin. Hello, if it's during the day, I'll go in with a little bit of this, with a little bit of my SPF, and just put it all over my face. I try not to put that much because it does leave a white cast. So now we don't need SPF right now. We're about to go to sleep. So now I'm gonna go in with my Kiehl's Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. This is my moisturizer. It has this little thing because it's protected all of the, the moisturizer. It can't be left open like that because it's such pure, like, how do I say it? Like pure ingredients, it's nothing but like natural stuff. So they don't want it to be exposed. So to get the moisturizer out, all you do is push down on this and then it slowly comes out. And a little bit, this is honestly all that I need for my entire face. So I'll just literally dot my whole face and that's it. And that will be enough for my whole face. This is one of my absolute favorite moisturizers. I like it cause, okay, I'm gonna be honest. At first I didn't like it because it's really thick, but once you blend it out, it thins out and it makes your face feel so so hydrated and I don't know it just feels like a baby's ass it just feels so soft so nice Ugh. like if I could freaking touch my face all damn day without this damn COVID shit 
I would. Now I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. This is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. This all is so awesome. I got this in my BoxyCharm either Premium or Luxe, I can't remember. But this shit is so cool. So all you do, it's like a little stick. It's literally an eye balm, which I think that's super awesome. I've never seen one of these, but I don't need that much. But I usually just roll it up and then I'll start rubbing it under my eyes. And this shit brightens under my eyes. So I'm gonna tap it in. And I'm only gonna do one side and I'm gonna let you guys see the other side. It's freaking crazy. And it also has like a cooling sensation. So as it's like drying, it starts cooling even more. But as you guys can see, I've only, it's literally been on my face for what, 10 seconds? And you can already see the difference on both of my eyes. This one is so much brighter than this one. And obviously I don't have like super, super, super dark under eye circles, but even, even just that little bit, you can tell the difference. I don't know, this shit is amazing. Um, I'm definitely gonna be buying one after I finish this because that's how much I really like this eye balm. And it says that you can apply it even like bare face or you can do it over makeup too. I haven't been brave enough to try it over makeup. I probably should to just let you guys know if it actually works. Um, but let me get let, a little, little, little bit. Make sure you guys let me know if you'd like me to try this over makeup so we can see if it actually works or like what it does. Now this is the last step of my skincare routine and I only do this last step whenever I'm going to sleep. This one from Pure Heels. I really like this one. It has like a honey smell to it, but it's not like overpowering. But this one is supposed to... Sleepy mask enriched with 80% honeybee extract provides full nourishment and glowing skin for tired skin while you sleep. And honestly, I just love that little glow that it gives me as soon as I put it on. And when I wake up in the morning, I just feel like my face looks so refreshed, so nice. Like a bitch look like she slept so good, even though really I can never sleep, but that's okay. And like I said, with every other product that I've used, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to be putting a shit ton of product on your face. That's just wasting it. So I'm just gonna massage it into my skin. And you guys are about to see how glowy I get. And I don't need it under my eyes. You don't need to put it under your eyes. I, we already put that eye balm and it already did its thing. So just let your under eyes be. You don't wanna do too much. Do you guys see how glowy? Look at that. I love it. And then for the last step, we're gonna do some Clinique Triple Lip Balm Moisturizer in the shade Akai. I don't know, but this thing is so good. It has lip surge. I don't know if you guys remember, but that little lip surge that I always raved about on my channel, it's in here. And this also has like a little lip tint to it. It has very, very little lip color, but it makes my lips so soft. Okay guys, and that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my new skincare routine. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you just comment down below and I promise to respond. So my skincare has changed so much and I honestly, I hope you guys got something from this. If you have acne prone skin, don't use things with fragrance because I promise you it's just gonna break you out more. Drink lots and lots and lots of water. That has helped me too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button down below to join this family. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.